there are chunks of lobster. You can see all the seasoning on there. You can see the Parmesan, the mushrooms, and that sauce. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, it's Ken from KVD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food review just for you. I'm in the rainy overcast city of Vaughan, Ontario, Canada, just north of the mighty city of Toronto. And after a quick Google search for one of my favorite dishes of all time, which is Lobster Thermidor, I locked out and found this awesome place called the Lobster Trap. They're open seven days a week, but because of the coronavirus, they're takeout and delivery only. So I'm doing takeout today. Let's get out a trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, so the lobster thermidor is $52. Probably one of the most expensive things I bought as a one item deal. And uh, what else did I get? I got the coconut shrimp for $15 for a grand total, including taxes, $75.71. So before we get it all out, because we're doing a little bit of fine dining in the car, I got myself my own knife and fork. I got a napkin from home and I got myself a nice placemat. All right, fine dining and a Volkswagen. Let's do it. <laughs> We've got one bag of something, two bags of something, a box of something. Don't know what they are yet. Oh, this is the coconut shrimp. Can't wait to open that, man. And then we got our lobster thermidor. He says, enjoy. And of course I will. Let's open these things up and see what we got on the side. Okay, we got french fries. Uh, he has a lot of different choices of sides. I chose french fries. I don't know what you guys would choose. Let me use my fork this time since we're doing fine dining. <laughs> Check out those fries. Mmm. They're condensating a little bit. Nice french fries. I like them. He rhymed off all the different things you can uh, put on a side. And I'm a french fry kind of guy. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, okay. This is, this is the kind of things you'd open up first. We got a knife and fork and a napkin. And another knife and fork. He thinks I'm sharing this. I'm not. Uh, we got a lemon, awesome. We probably got some seafood sauce. Let's open up this other bag. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, we got a nice big bun. Dinner roll, maybe. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, garlic. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, scratch it, sniff it. The rest is mine. Mmm. Garlic toast. Put that there. Let's open up our shrimp. I'm gonna leave that closed as long as possible. Oh, I can smell the shrimp now. Oh boy. Coconut shrimp. Here we come. All right, so this is probably just ketchup. We'll leave that over there. So it comes with a little bit of plum sauce on the side. I guess that is the most recommended thing. Check out that deep fried coconut shrimp. We're gonna be dunking that. He's got a lot of good appetizers, but this is the one I chose this time. Here we go. Oh, look at that gooey mess. Gooey mess. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Crunchy coconut. Tender. Succulent shrimp, cooked to perfection. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's lovely. It is so much better than like regular deep fried shrimp. We're gonna batter. Mm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. We'll eat one more and save the rest for later. I wanna get into that lobster thermidor. Mm. That's perfect. All right, let's open this lobster thermidor. See how beautiful that will look. It would definitely look better on a plate, but I didn't bring a plate for that. Uh, the other, th the other thing, I was going to squeeze some lemon onto my shrimp, but it looked like there was only one lemon. 
and I wanted to save it for the lobster thermo, but there was two. So I'm going to quickly go back one move, put some lemon. Thank you for the two lemons, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to put some lemon on this one right here. Oh, look at that. I'm also just put it on all of them, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's spraying everywhere. Ooh, la, la. There we go. Okay. Lemon on the coconut shrimp. I don't think I'm going to dunk that one. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Whoever thought of putting lemon on seafood? Brilliant. Okay, let's go back to the lobster thermidor. Ready for the unveiling? Here we go. Take off that. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. For those who don't know what lobster thermidor is, basically they boil a lobster or steam it, then they cut it open, take out all the meat, uh, throw it into a saucepan with sherry cream sauce and mushrooms, probably garlic and parmesan, and then they, they mix it all up, get it all nice and bubbly, then they put it all back into the half shells that they cut in half, and then they put it into a broiler and it broils all the top. <gasps> Let's go in for an extreme close-up of this lobster thermidor and check out all that yummy goodness. There are chunks of lobster. You can see all the seasoning on there. You can see the Parmesan, the mushrooms, and that sauce. Oh my goodness. Uh, if you've never had lobster thermidor, please check out lobster trap and get in here and try one of these lobster thermidors. I can't wait till they open in the future so I can eat this once again, but at a table. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get in there, get some of this. Oh, oh, oh check that out. I've got to put the lemon on, hang on. Let's just put that there. Don't you fall, don't you do it. All right, it's got this lemon, you gotta, you gotta squeeze the lemon. Juices all over your lobster thermidor. It just goes hand in hand. There we go. All good to go. Let's get back into this thing. Wow. That is brilliant. Those tender chunks of lobster with that cream sauce on it. And you can taste the little bit of the crunchiness of the cheese because it was broiled. Mmm. And the mushrooms help so much. Wow. I just want to keep eating non-stop. Lots, lots and lots of chunks of luck. What's happening? Are you? Oh my goodness, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Take care, sir. That's awesome. Thanks. The gentleman that owns the lobster trap came out and gave me some water from Italy. It looks like a mineral water. I can't read it. Uh, let's just crack that open. If we can, oh, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Yeah, it's just flat uh, mineral water. Never had water from Italy before. Another quick sanitizing my hands before we get more into this lobster thermidor. And we're back. Oh, I got a nice big chunk there. Oh, fell off. That is fantastic, man. Now, the Parmesan cheese is just making this whole thing come together. If you love lobster and you've never had Lobster Thermidor, you gotta give it a shot. That is so, so good. A little bite of your garlic bread. Nice and crunchy. See if we can use my bread. I did bring a knife, but might as well use my toast. Just the right spices, mixture. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Huge chunks of lobster. 
It's just beautiful. The restaurant where I first had lobster thermidor was down in Markham. It was called the Devon's Lay. I think now it's like a, a steak place or it's changed hands a bunch of times. Uh, I wish I had remembered the, the name of that chef so I could have followed his career because probably wherever he goes and he makes lobster thermidor, it's exactly the same. Uh, it was a little bit different than this. It had more of a, it was really creamy and uh, I just remember loving it as much as this one. This is good too. Ever since that place changed, I just haven't gone looking for a lobster thermidor. Now I found a place. And I'll definitely be coming back. Oh, big chunk. Hmm. Well guys, I am loving this so much. I'm gonna have to give it a one o'clock in the morning shout out by to every single one of you ladies and gentlemen who loves to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This beautiful succulent bite is for you. Cheers. Mmm. Thing of beauty. Every chef makes it differently. Put their own little flair to it. But I like this guy. This guy's good. It's like it never ends. There's half of the lobster. I'm gonna be scooping out every single piece of that beautiful lunch. Mm hmm It's really nice when, uh, when you get to that cream sauce that kind of settled to the bottom of that shell. I like the sauce all mixed in there. Like I said, guys, it's never ending. Lobster chunk after lobster chunk. I'm just scraping all the little bits and pieces, trying to get it to one side here so I can eat my last couple big forkfuls of this thing of beauty. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this forkful, ladies and gentlemen. That is a beautiful forkful. Mmm. So let me know in the comments below if you've tried lobster thermidor. I am now going to attempt to get all the juices out of the bottom of this thing. Not letting anything go to waste. Found some more buried in this tail. You gotta dig. Last bite. Mm. All right, guys, we are all done. The lobster thermidor fine dining in my car. On my rating scale, I'm gonna give the lobster traps, lobster thermidor, and coconut shrimp a go out and get it now plus it was phenomenal i cannot wait to all the restaurants start opening back up so i can go in there one time and enjoy the same meal uh, at a place setting inside the shop inside the restaurant and enjoy it the way it's supposed to be enjoyed as opposed to in a, inside a tin thing in my car all right guys if you enjoy my videos and want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you hit it with a thumbs up ding 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 but if you're hungry for more check out this awesome playlist and i'll see you over there bring your hunger